you're go you guys are going to see every nail or screw being driven if I can help it. That's the entire goal for this. Everything when it comes to the homestead is going to be live streamed. We are kicking off the homestead project today. So this is the introduction live stream to it all. You guys are probably going to hear a bunch of noisy chickens. <laughs> Um, we've got one pecking at the, the steel Ruby. posts on our porch and another one that's over by the step complaining. Hi, Angela. Hi, Angela. We'll get back to work then. <laughs> you can watch this later. I'll probably end up breaking these streams up into little, like, five or ten minute clips for the people who don't like hanging out through the entire live stream but still want to see what's going on. <laughs> uh... If he produces long and lanky offspring, then we'll have to get a different rooster because we want to breed them to have sizable meat chickens. You guys can see the rooster. Who you are? Hi, Blackjack. <laughs> I said you can't. But I tell you where I'm going. <laughs> I know. I send you camping and watch videos. This is why I leave it with multiple people as to where I go when I disappear into the woods for a week at a time. And here goes our rooster. I didn't do this on a Tuesday because we live like a mile down the road from a sail barn. So you get a lot of truck traffic and semi noise. And I'm like, oh, well, a Wednesday morning is a great morning for a live stream because it's fairly quiet, especially around 11 o'clock. No, our birds are going to go off all over the place. I said it's going to be on that whole other level it's not going to be just live streaming it's going to be live streaming because we're not going to always be paying attention to the live chat uh I i'm going to be going live and just letting it sit there and run and going and working about my day it's going to give you guys that beginner's perspective also of every single failure that's going to come along the way like <laughs> And if you guys watch my channel, you know I fail a lot. It's just how it goes. And I I put those out there. Transparency is a big thing. Zach will inevitably cut himself multiple times. Yeah, you guys are going to see me bleed a lot. I'll, <laughs> I'll guarantee that. Falls and trips. It's just daily life. And to live stream all of it is... You know, I have a spinal cord injury. So it's that... It's that living in the moment record of what I have to deal with on a daily basis and the challenges that come along with that. Homesteading, I guess, is not a big step from what I've already done my entire life. I mean, this farm is my family farm. I've lived on this place. I mean, my, my family may not have done the self-sufficiency that we're looking for, but it's not a big step from what I've already lived. I mean, like I said, this fam this farm has been in my family. So uh, I've been used to the work. I've been used to the sacrifice it takes to keep a farm going. So to me, it's, it's practically second nature. So I just, I know Zach was really into this and I'm okay with supporting it. Cause like I said, it's not that big of a step for me. This is my way of trying to be more supportive of the family. You know, how can I make us more self-sufficient in the long run, you know, in my attempt to still be a provider? Because, I mean, I am our stay-at-home parent. I'm, I guess my, my, my main full-time job is dad. <laughs> Uh, That's what we had agreed on a couple years ago when I got the clerk position. Was that you agreed used? upon? I know you don't. You've never been comfortable with it, but the dad is supposed to work that's that's how we were brought up that's the, the hole we were raised in and it's just not how life turned out for me so i'm doing what i can in an attempt to make that different homestead is not easy by any means this is not going to be an easy lifestyle and i'm not looking for it to be an easy lifestyle this is going to be work. I want us to be more self-sufficient. I, I want us to have a healthier lifestyle. We have fun when we do our gardens together and taking care of the Well, it's a little bit of a headache when you're putting 15 birds away at one time. Uh, but 
we still, I, I guess if we didn't have fun doing it, we wouldn't have the birds. That's, that's the reality of that. So far, the hardest part for us has been acquiring the, the means to do it, which is another reason why we start, we're starting this in October, like at the end of the year, <laughs> um, because we're just starting the process of land acquisition, which for us is, it's a tricky topic. We can't really say a whole lot because it's, it's a legal thing. It's inheritance, so it's completely different than than going out and buying a parcel of land. To be honest, the hardest part so far for me, in my opinion, is organization. Um, getting things to run smoothly, like Zach said, it's hard to put 15 birds away. Um, so getting to that point to where it's a pattern and it doesn't take an hour and a half to find 15 birds and get them in their pens. Um, also along with it is because Zach tends to start a project and not quite finish it before he wants to move on. Um, I don't know if that's because of excitement. He it's wants to get things moving, um, but he doesn't tend to follow through all the time. So organization is tough sometimes. Um, I have to I have to keep on him to get certain things done before we can move on to other projects and that's a big part of it. And that's kind of another reason why I wanted to live stream because I'm hoping that you guys are going to help me <laughs> focus more and finish getting like big projects done. <laughs> now he's crowing. Uh, the next big project that we're going to be doing is a uh, we need to make a bigger chicken coop for the winter time and our chickens are going to get a kind of a greenhouse for the winter. The oldest picture of this house is 1862 which makes it 158 years old. So one of these days I'll take you guys down in the basement and I can show you the floor joists. Our floor joists are axe hewn timbers. The Can-Ams are not Hondas guys. I've been okay riding the, the Honda around without a helmet for the last five years. I got this Can-Am, rode it twice, and said, nope, I need a helmet. Zach just, like he said before, he was not comfortable with being the stay-at-home dad. I mean, he still isn't, and it's been two years. It's just not his thing. He doesn't like to just sit and not contribute. Here's Ruby. She decided to come join us this morning. Um, this is our cinnamon queen. Yep, this is one. I really think that she's a Rhode Island Red more than a Cinnamon Queen. But you gotta stay out of my plants, though. I don't really know. Uh, Gary, the the simple version is I had a tumor on my spinal cord. Um, Gary, I love Doug and Stacy. Okay, um, I don't know what it is about them. It's them. It's the it, two it's, of them. It's I I guess watching those two work together is a lot of how me and her operate. What the homesteaders have their homesteads laid out and everything is big and expanded and it's all spread out and it's all way far apart. And that doesn't appeal to me. Um, that doesn't work for me and it'll never work for me. I have to have, Doug's concept was aging in place and it was have everything Everything that's in, like your 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 food and bringing everything bringing everything in and making it close and making it accessible and that way as you age you're not you're not walking far to accomplish your daily tasks and chores and like if you want to go pick apples out of your apple orchard you don't have to walk to the back of your property to do it you can go right outside in your front yard and do it. Guys, this is, you're gonna, everybody that's in the live streams is gonna be part of helping to build this because there's gonna be times where we, we get stuck. Like, oh, there's a new cat? I just saw the butt of a new cat go past the bar. Oh. A black thing. Um, like there's gonna be times where we get stuck <laughs> or like Tristan, the idea of aquaponics. I was kind of already considering that, but you know, if somebody shows a total, like if we get multiple people showing interest in ideas, sure, we'll take them on and tackle them. Um, the idea with aquaponics, though, was that I could raise bluegill or catfish in the tanks. 
There's some oranges. The orchard, or, orchard. Not oranges, peaches. Orchard? An orchard? Yeah, an orchard. I thought that's what you were trying to get at, but I, like uh, I said, if I had known. <laughs> and we're actually gonna, we're gonna do a live stream planting those seeds here soon. From a perspective, like, uh, the whole process of it, like if somebody else out there is looking at having to go through something like this, where you're splitting off from a larger LLC, like what exactly is the process of it? So that's kind of, that's why we're putting this out there. Basically, you have to have an appraiser come out and look at the land, the buildings, whatever belongs to the LLC, and then it pretty much goes into division negotiations from there. It's going to happen in the future. It's not all like going to be spat out really fast. It's not going to be like, oh, every week there's a new project. It's going to be over time. Um, building a homestead in reality takes a lot of time. It doesn't take a year's worth of edited videos. So awkward. This was supposed to be our stream and she just walks away. This was just like the introduction as to, hey, this is what we're doing. This is the steps that we have to go through. Um, this is our plan. Now, most of these live streams, you guys probably won't. I mean, you're going to see Sarah, you're going to see Deegan, you're going to see Archer after he's born laying at their best. And I think the Wyandots are supposed to be our best egg layers. I think the Wyandots are supposed to lay eggs all the way through winter. This is going to get really loud for a second, guys. Um, so, yes, if you're new, make sure you're subscribed. Go down, ring the bell, go into your YouTube app and enable your push notifications so that way you get notified as soon as live streams kick off right now there are no set streaming times um it's gonna be whenever i start working on something or whenever we start working on something <clears throat> so yes again thank you guys for coming out and i really look forward to seeing everybody in the future i'm i'm really excited about what we're going to be doing with this Oh, that might not be my It bag. is. It's from 180 Medical, but oh, it's a it? much smaller box. And... I wonder if it's coming in two parts. Okay. I was about to shut it down. Do you want to say your buys? No. Okay. okay. All right. We'll see you guys on the next one.